Milind, can you try putting these two balls in each bit? Okay, looks fairly simple. See, halfway there. Oops. Oh. Hey, this seems impossible. No, it's impossible for you. Hello, this is Juma. I'm Milind. And welcome to the second episode of Scientific Lockdown. This week, I have dug some deeper into my physics textbook and brought you another problem. Yes, Juma, you're full of problems. I have a puzzle box and at the two ends, it has two small pits. Milind, can you try putting these two balls in each pit? Okay, looks fairly simple. See, halfway there. Oops. Oh. Hey, this seems impossible. No, it's impossible for you, not for me. Oh, that's a nice trick. But how does this work? Does this rotation box have any magnets in it? No, there are no magnets. What I used is the concept given by Christian Huygens. It's called the centrifugal force. Okay, centrifugal force. Quite a mouthful. It seems like this word is new to you. Take a look at this cylinder. See, the red balls go away from each other. This movement is due to the centrifugal force. Give it a try. Okay. Yes, the balls do go apart. I now believe in centrifugal force. Oh no! I think I might have given away the answer to the question I was going to ask today. Yes, now I don't have to wait till Monday. Wait, my science bag is not empty yet. Now, my question to you is, what will happen to the red balls when I rotate this cylinder? Do you have short-term memory loss? You just gave away the answer to this question. Because of centrifugal force, the balls will move apart from each other. Did I? Take this cylinder, take this rotation box, hold it. Imperio. Now show me your centrifugal force. What's with the Harry Potter spells? Magic doesn't work in real life. Talk less, do more. Looks like their friendship is too strong to break. I won't give up. Maybe a little faster speed will work. Oh, this was your question all along. Yes, you got that right. Today's question is why the two red balls in my second cylinder are not moving apart but coming close together? Are there magnets in them? Do you really think it is that easy to solve? I assure you that both the cylinders have same plastic balls. Help me solve this puzzle in the comment section. Let us try to get this over with before the inquisitor steps in. Again, the most interesting explanation will be mentioned in the answer segment of this episode. Keep your eyes on our channel for the answer segment which will be uploaded this Monday 5 pm. And if you want to see more such videos then subscribe to our channel and share this video with all your friends. If you have any weird questions, send them to us at scientificlockdown at gmail.com and follow us on social media. Thank, Thank you. you.